is yours truly Rico Vibes and welcome to another edition of Take 5. My special guest today happens to be from the community. I'm proud to introduce to you the one and only Shenko. That's how you pronounce your name? Yeah, man, yeah, man. What's up, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's it going? Yeah, man, my good man. Today, I'm on his head. I saw you perform on the squash, mm -hmm. and then I saw you perform on the eye water, and you perform like a veteran. So how long have you been performing? You know, sir, really, squash was my, my first big performance really? on stage, you know? And after that, with the eye water, you know what I mean? I say, and mm -hmm. it's like, we, we, we're just performing. It's just, we feel like we just, it's me have a love feat, you know what I mean? I say, like, it's just a love feat. It's just a natural thing, you know? But, yeah, it's my first big performance, and... Did you enjoy it? Of course. Because, <laughs> I, yo, it's something, it's a life-changing experience for me, for just getting, going on the stage and letting people hear what me have to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I say, not a lot of people get to do that. Right. And me do it and me execute it. Mm -hmm. You see me? So... Were you nervous? Of course, you know, they, they still, everyone get nervous. If you don't get nervous in our life, you know, you know right. tell the truth, you know. Right. So, right. yeah, nerves is dead, but we'll, we'll, we'll go on this do what we do and prevail, you know what I mean? So, gotcha. that's the idea. Gotcha. So, at, at what point did you realize this is what you wanted to do? Well, you know, I said about, what, three, four months. Four months? Yeah. You know, that's I said, it? Yeah, you know, I said, I just actually start really getting into the music thing and, well, the past four months we just put in a whole heap of work, you know. So, wow. So who do who do you listen to as a as an artist yourself? Who's your influences? Well, um well with artistry, I listen to multiple artists. Mm. I mean, I mean, I just stay to one genre, I listen to music, mm. you know, who I mean, just love music. Mm. You know what I mean? I say from a young we just love music and um with with with, with dance uh, just I love cartel of mm. course, you know, I say Bujo. You know, some years I'm I listen to Protege, Chronix, mm -hmm. you know. So you listen to a, a wide spectrum of Yeah, me just take a grasp from everybody's life. Right, me just, right. you know, me don't know, me don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so would you consider yourself a dancehall artist or would you consider yourself an artist? No, me don't want to be categorized just as a dancehall artist. Okay. Me want to be a wide spectrum. Me just okay. want to touch every genre. Gotcha. You know what I say? Gotcha. Just want to be, touch every genre. So when you were in school, did, did, what was your aspiration? I know you said you, the artist thing just came about four months ago. So what did you want to be before well, four months ago? Well, before four months ago, you know what I said? When I was in high school in 12th grade, my, my plan was when I graduated high school was to go to the military, actually, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, things changed throughout mm -hmm. a, a short period of, period of time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I say, so, yeah, things did change. And then I also do appraisal, mm -hmm. you know what I said? Gotcha, gotcha. And then I used to play basketball in high school too, so okay. well, You have the height for it. <laughs> yeah, basketball, I used to have a love for basketball, you know, right. I used to play from the school, so Stevenson oh, okay. High School, you know, okay, big okay. up Stevenson, you see? <laughs> so what's yeah. key, what keeps you grounded? Because you, you're pretty young, mm. you know, uh, what keeps you grounded and away from, you know, the hype of it, the whole business of it? Well, um, a lot of things man got through and just, I feel like as a young youth, you have to stay humble and stay more to yourself and focus on your dreams in life, you know? Mm -hmm. Focus on what, 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 what's your destination, where you're going to in life. You can't just live in a moment, you have to focus on longevity. Mm -hmm. Did that come from, from home training or you just kind of figured that out on your own? Oh, Yo, you know, sir, my parents, them is strict, strict. parents. So. Jamaican parents. Yeah, Jamaican <laughs> parents, so right. them strict for me at all times. Mm -hmm. You know me, I say so that that kind of keep me firm at the same time, and then just experiencing things with life with just people in general right. in right. a life. You know right. me, I say. Right. Uh, and that, and that's what really getting out there and, and starting to know how the world works and everything. Right. That that's what really made me start pre things right. differently in a life. You know me, I say. Wow. So, uh, like I, when I saw you performed on on the squash, especially, you were very aggressive. You know, you, you handled the crowd. Like a veteran, really. I, I couldn't. I, I really don't believe that's the first time you're really performing in front of a crowd of that yeah, magnitude. Yeah, my first time ever performing in front of a um a big crowd like that, in front of so much people. Right. And like me say, I was nervous, and I was heap of smoke in day night. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. <laughs> you know, it was a different. It was a different type of experience. Did you practice? Did you have any rehearsal? Of course, of yeah. course. You know, my friends. You know, my mm. cousin them get me, and oh, what are you gonna do on this and that, and everybody asks me where exactly me are the boy. Me and my mom always did to me music and mm -hmm. I was at it then in my head at all the time. So it's like me always like even when I'm there at work, 
I just always have music. I have my music, them just a play like me. I just set two, two verse all the while, every time. Is it me I say? Right. Even when me I just do my work. Right. Is it me I say? So, so walk us through the process of creating. You know, wh where do you draw from? Do you draw from life experiences? Do you draw from the, your family? Where do you draw from to get your inspiration? Yeah, me draw from my life experience and draw from family and just draw from other people experiencing life. Gotcha. You know, mm -hmm. it's like because like this world is not a is not a um. This world is a hard world for living on, is it me right, I say? And right. people can easily break. So if we just take from them experience and just sing a song or voice a song and make them hear oh 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 we there too, like we hear we are say. Me, me know we are go through as a person, you know, as an individual. Right. You know me I say so I feel like that's a that's a major thing, that's a major Ooh. key point for this touch point. You know me I say so. Right, so you got dance hall, you got reggae, are you gonna dabble into any hip hop, any R and B? Yes. Yes, okay. we are going to double on everything, <laughs> everything we are touching. You know what I mean? I say, so you, are you a singer, you a DJ, what, what, what are you? Well, you know, I forgot to tell me that, you know, because <laughs> I know me, I try to figure out because I just, my, my, my brain and my mind is just on a variety right. of things. You know, I want to stay in one place, I want right. to just venture out. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. What, what's the end goal for you? You know, I mean, I know, you, I know you're young in the business, of course, mm -hmm. but you got to have a goal post. So what's, what's the goal post for you? Well, my goal post is to work with some big artists mm -hmm. and being able to just go around and experience those, those things where they may experience. I want to get on that level there and I know what's going to happen because I put in the work and I grind feet. You know mm -hmm. what I say? So mm -hmm. is, is, don't take the thing light because the thing we are forward. You know what I say? Yeah. I remember I met you, I met you at your, your cousin, right? I met yeah. you at your cousin's party. Yeah, Brianna. Big up Brianna. Brianna's Let's party. Eat. Big up yourself, Brianna. And you walked up to me and he goes, you know, an artist, you know. And the, you were very aggressive with it. I actually appreciated that because you were very aggressive. You were very confident, I should say. I um, have one thing with my music, like when I advise my tune, them mm -hmm. want to hear everything what I have to say. So when I advise it and perform it, me, me perform it emotional because that's something that's my art. You see what I say? Me gotcha. craft that. Me go to the studio and, and, and work on that. So mm -hmm. when, when me voice it, I now go up there nervous, I want to fear everything I have to say come out of my mouth. You see what I mean? So I just, that, that's how me feel about it because my, me take my thing very, like, <laughs> me take my thing very, Seriously. you see what I mean? Serious, yeah. Now you performed with some, some artists, a keynote and a couple of artists the other night. And, and do you get intimidated at all by other no, artists? No, 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 because, because every man of them shine and every man of them time for shine. You see what I say? Mm -hmm. So, Big up Akina because even talk to Akina enough time and them thing man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just stay humble and just do with full thing. You see me? Mm -hmm. see me? I say like every man that I do them thing. You see me? Now I watch them thing now. And right. Who I get nervous on? Who I get nervous on? Who? Who right. I try to be better than? No, I'm not trying to do that. Mm -hmm. But I do music and music is an art. Like me tell you, I have an idea of art we are doing. So you're not yeah. about you're not about the hype. You're about no, the music. No, no, no. Music. That's very music. important. <laughs> yeah, that's very no, important. No, no. Music me strictly right. depend right. at all times. Not no hype. Far from hype. Me is, I'm I'm not a hype person. Before even me start the music, me never really even go out so much. Me mm. even like me's a man. Me don't go out like that. You see me? Okay. What what's for you beyond the music? You know, the music is a music business. So do you think about the business of music? Of course, that's that's the reason why I tell you say like me as a man, I don't really go out, so I don't try to follow that. I'm more, more staying and focus on the business aspect of mm -hmm. the music. You know what I mean? I say mm -hmm. I'm focusing on the industry part because this industry is a is a is a is a crazy thing. So yeah. you can easily get swallowed up in that industry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's better if you just know what know your own work, do your own work on it. You know what I mean? I say mm -hmm. if you're an artist, if you're a young artist. I always do your own work on this right here so because you can't get tricked and a whole heap of things can happen to you when you deal with this, right? Right, right. So what's what's next for you? What's next you for me? You performed on the two shows I've seen you on. What what's coming up for you? Well, many more shows are coming up because I always I go always I go perform. Mm -hmm. Is I me I don't know, I just grow a love feet. From that first performance day, it's like a light just sparking at me. You know mm -hmm. what I say? So it's like it's just something we just take really passionate about, you know what I mm -hmm. say? Yeah, uh, many, many more things is up with you. Many right. more things, many more music I got drop on them things. Yeah. So people I got here will have to say. Wow. Once again, folks, my special guest today, Shenko. Uh, yeah. What do you have to say to young artists like yourself who's coming up and probably uh, afraid or shy to get into the business? What, what advice do you have to give them? Well, I have one thing to say, like humbleness, like 
humble people suck me. I mean, humble now me suck the most milk. You see me what I say? So stay humble and always just like believe in yourself at all times. Don't care what nobody have to say because that's what me to do. Me, me care what other people. Me not, me not business what nobody have to say. Focus on what you have to do because if you not do what you have to do, nobody else not going to do it. If you not, if you not express what you have to express, where we are come from with your art, nobody else are gonna do it for you. So just don't be scared. Always just pursue your dreams. You see me? I say at all times. No, you obviously you're here in the U.S. and a lot of people say, "Oh, dance and mega camp bust in the U.S." What do yeah. you have to say to those people? <laughs> <laughs> dance and a reggae. Mm -hmm. Well, dance hall is a very, very a big thing. Mm -hmm. You see me? I say and forget. American people to draw to that. I feel like say, we just need to tap into different things. We don't we not need to stay upon the same thing, we're on the same type of thing like the, the, um, the mud shopping. We need to just switch it up because before dance hall was better than this, dance hall was yeah. higher than this. You know what I say? Yeah. So, so I just feel like we're just dropping off on, dropping off on certain things and we're just catching it back. But everything, music is a thing, it's ongoing, it goes on. So it have it's, its a circle. It's yeah, like, it have its yeah. low times and it have its as time it just right. explode. You know what I mean? Right. I say so. Dancehall at the time, nineties that nineties dancehall was the wickedest dancehall period. Yep. You know what I mean? I say yep. so. We 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 just we just I got through one slums right now. If I go back up, may I, may I? Yeah. <laughs> where, where in Jamaica do you represent though? You know what I say? My family I'm come from East Side. You know what I say? So at East Side, I say. Yazid, so okay. Dunkirk we followed from Yazid, so right. who's from Dunkirk? Is it Baby Sham from Dunkirk? Sham, one of those guys from Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, my special guest today is Shenko. Talk to the folks, just just tell them who you yeah, are, man, where they can I, follow you on social media. I Shenko, you know, so want to follow my Instagram C H E N K O that music on Instagram. Is it me? Where I touch other platforms, so just weird feet, but more wanting for especially my follow me Instagram, I follow me YouTube, Shenko that world, is it me? But they are, and we are going to hold it for me, is it? Or up top, is it? All right, there you go. In this edition of Take Five, my special guest, Shenko, catch you next time on another hey, edition. Man, big up yourself, Rico, for inviting me on the show. Hey, man, Anytime, my brother. Yeah.